everyone and welcome back to our skyblock series. Today I think we're going to focus on cleaning up the mess we made last episode right behind us. We made a very ugly iron farm and a very ugly villager farm and I definitely have a plan of where to move this iron farm to. It's going to be right behind us and we're going to start building and hopefully finish building our castle to go behind our castle gate. <laughs> I've been working very hard to collect up some blocks and I think I've now got everything together here. So we need a lot of stone bricks, so much so that they don't fit in a single double chest. And we also need to use some of the spruce blocks. Um, I haven't got enough dirt so these are placeholders but I know I need way more than four stacks of dirt in the end but it's probably going to be a, a floating build to start with and maybe in another episode we'll start farming up some dirt to build the land underneath it. And here's our organised board for today. So yep, the plan is to tidy up and I think we've collected most of the blocks we need off camera. So let's just jump straight into to building and then we can move in. And if there's time at the end, uh, I'll see if I can visit another one of the islands. Let's start a time lapse. Boy, that was a lot of building. And it's only one side that I've done. Uh, and not even a proper entrance yet. <laughs> okay, uh, three more sides to go. We have a visitor. What do you have for trade? Pumpkins, mushrooms. <gasps> Ooh, I only have one jungle sapling left, so I am definitely going to buy this. But everything else is kind of useless to me. This is our first leather. And that's two sides up. My little finger's getting sore from holding down shift though now. I think next we'll work on this side which should have the main entrance in it. We 
now have three walls done and still plenty of box for the last wall uh, and the interior. I think next I'm going to start working on the interior and then I'll put up the final wall last. all of our floors placed. Uh, there probably is a bit more work to do on the interior, like these bottom two floors are pretty empty right now, but plenty of space to move in. It seems like I've set up a, a very small mob farm behind one of these walls as I forgot to light up. And if you watched the time lapse completely from my interior, uh, you will have seen I messed it up slightly. I clicked pause on my replay mod and then forgot to press resume, uh, which meant I messed up the replay of this entire room almost, which is a shame because I think it's the prettiest. I really like the arch and then the, the lighting and the ceiling and our little fireplace. And these oak fence posts are just temporary. I hope to replace them with lightning rods if I can get some copper in the future and then replace the torches on top with some candles. I think that will look really cute. I also like our little archways up on the second floor kind of balcony overlooking our large, large room. Up on our final floor inside the castle I've set up a little drop sheet which hopefully will collect our iron for us and I've got my extra lava bucket from the nether to place over these signs so we have a, a lava blade to uh, kill the iron golems and then on our castle roof this will be the spawning platform for the iron golems and unfortunately I'm going to have to have some floating beds and a floating zombie uh, so that iron golems only spawn here and not on our lower floors in the castle. I think that will be okay though because when you're down on the ground level you can't really see uh, where the beds will be floating so it's only when you're up on the roof or if I build something even higher that you'll see the iron golem farm set up. I think we've probably had plenty of time lapses for today's episode so I'm gonna build the last wall off camera and also try and move our staircase over to where our main entrance will be and then I'll come back it's finished we've got this temporary oak staircase up to the entrance and then we have our back wall up and this is what the final wall looks like it's pretty much symmetrical with all the other sides the castle itself is actually based on a real castle that i visited a few times before 
Next, I think we should move our iron farm. And I'm going to need to build a long path all the way up to the castle. And I'm going to need some minecarts and some rails to move the zombie and villagers around. Pretty sure uh, I don't have enough rails to make it up to the top of the castle, but I'm going to set up a path anyway and then I can see how many more I need. We need some gold for some power rails, so I think it's time that we mine this gold above this portal. I've made the rail track all the way to the top and I have tested out so I know that I can make it. Next up, I need to place some beds so that when the villagers make it to the top, they have somewhere to go and then I can trap them in. The beds have been placed and now it's time to relocate our villagers. Maybe I should block the zombies so they don't run around so much. was pretty easy. Okay, let's relocate you then. No, not that way. Maybe I should have built an extra minecart for me. Oh, the... I must have removed. Yep, I removed the lever. Uh, there you go. Mm, that's one that's gone up. And he's coming straight down. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh. You first. Is he going to make it? Yep, he's made it. Next one. Bye. See you in a bit. And our final villager. Perfect. I'm quickly going to make a minecart. So I can travel up there nice and quickly. Oh, I thought I already sent you off. Okay. Well, off you go. No, he's too heavy. <laughs> um, okay, the other guys made it up. Why not you? Oh no. Okay, that's why. There's a bit of a traffic jam. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna run up then. Okay, that's all three out. Now just to wait for them to go up to their beds. But I don't have my bed to go to sleep, so... Uh, don't fall down the hole, please. Uh, let's quickly cover it up. Oh, and please don't go downstairs. 
should be any minute now that they go up to their beds. Yes, you. Go to bed. <laughs> You've gone slightly too far. You do have very nice green eyes. Yes! It's bedtime! Oops. And now they sh should be. Uh oh. No, they are not trapped. Now they are trapped. Perfect. Now I just need to go to bed. Whee! <laughs> Both of my zombies don't have helmets on, so I'm going to have to move them at night time. But earlier today, I did get myself some diamond armor. Which I think I'm going to have to wear today while moving the zombies. Let's go catch them in some minecarts so they're ready to go once it's night time. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. <laughs> uh, it might do though. <laughs> okay, so get rid of these trap doors. You just have an arrow, you have some cobblestone. Um, I guess maybe I should have had some extra power rails to keep the minecarts moving. Um, but let's put a couple down to push. And then, can they get through here? They can, but they can't get through there. And I can't either, so let's hit the boat and not the zombie. Oh no, uh, air three B. Okay. Whee. Oh no, oh, maybe they can't get me through here. Come on, get in. Yes, there's one. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh. And there's the second one. Phew. Okay. That wasn't too bad after all. You are nice and close. So let's move you. There he goes. Okay, uh, well hopefully he doesn't come back. Um, let's block this off in case he does. And let's follow him up there but hop out before uh, I end up in the zombie trap as well. Here. Oop. No, stay. Okay. Now, oh, there's an iron golem there, that's uh, slightly too early for me. Um, F3B this again. So if I hit this, is he going to eject in the right place? Yes. Ooh. And we have our first iron golem spawning. This is great. Okay, uh, well, he's nice and safe up there. And we have our first iron golem spawning. Who I'm not going to hit when I take out these blocks. Ah, but I forgot to put all my hoppers in. Okay, I am going to sleep and then I'll be back. And hopefully the zombie will still be there. Good news, our zombie is still safe up there. And now to drop down and add the rest of the hoppers. 
see, I want four into one and five into the other chest. Um, maybe I should put the water down before I place the lava, otherwise my entire spawning platform might burn up. And then each of these corners needs a block before I place the water. Nope, <laughs> not in the slab. Oh dear, I hope that hasn't washed any torches away. Okay, that should be fireproof now. And now to put the lava in. Um, where's the best spot to do this? I'm so sorry, Iron Golem. It's a bit mean of me to have this little viewing, <laughs> viewing area for the Iron Golems dying, but our first iron from our castle, iron farm. Let's go up and see if another iron golem will spawn. Can they see him? Are they scared? Have I put him at the wrong height? Hmm. Oh dear. I think I've put him at the wrong height. Oh, my iron bars at the wrong height. Okay, let's correct where I put my iron bars. Oops. Okay, they're definitely scared again. Oh, I've lost that one. Oh well. Can I get this one? Uh, that's kind of symmetrical. I guess that'll do. That should be working now. Yep, yeah, there the iron golem goes. Great. Now to remove this bridge, patch up the castle, and then remove the iron farm. And we don't need this zombie anymore, so goodbye. But I think that's all we have time for today. But let's check how much iron I've got so far. One and a half stacks. And an extra 15. And some more coming in. We've done a bit of tidying, but there's still all the villagers to move. But at least I can access my full tree farm now. And we run out of time to visit an island, but we'll definitely do that next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye!